back to an all-new episode of the Face Rocker Podcast, the official Rocket Jump Podcast. I'm your host, Benji Dolly, and today's episode, number 96, sees the return of co-founders Freddie Wong, Matt Arnold, and Des Dolly as they sit and talk with VGHS co-writer and senior staff writer Will Campos about some about Rocket Jump's upcoming slate of productions this year, what they're excited about toy-wise this holiday season, which ties into next week's episode, as well as, you guessed it, Rocket Jump, the show premiering December 2nd on Hulu. We're really excited about it. The full-length trailer is out now. Go check it out on our YouTube channel. It's awesome. We think it'll get you excited about the show. We know we are, and we hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Until then, and come see us soon. Welcome, everybody, to Face Our Podcast number 96. Man, we have a book done. Almost at the centennial. I know, and we are, and we find ourselves here due to scheduling all over this building in our lobby, in front of our very attractive lit sign, which yeah. we had made. So this is cool. a new environment. Our lobby, which nobody uses to come into the building, because all of the entrances. You are know on what? The side. John Salmon just actually. Here. John Salmon just walked in here. I tend to park right in, in the front door, so I can walk into the lobby. Yeah. I you enjoy, can be like, I own this place. So yeah, I enjoy walking through my lobby and going, eh, this is pretty cool. There's, happy a, to work there's here. a Ghostbuster style Brooklyn secretary right around the corner. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Dolly. <laughs> any, any calls, Janine? <laughs> she buzzes. Type She's something. Like, We're paying you by the hour. <laughs> she buzzes. You know, buzz, buzz. Yeah. 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 But uh, well, man, what do we got going on? First of all, let's, uh, let's do a little quick overview of what's going on around well, the old company. I know we're all backed up today because we were filming the uh, the last scene of the second to last this week at Rocket Jump. Yep. Which actually, we're recording this today is what? Wednesday, November 18th. Yep. That video will it's have been today. up today, before yeah. you, a couple days before you hear this podcast. We had John refilm or do a different version of the last scene. It's called the ec- what, the exorcism. The exorcism of Charles yeah. Barkley. Of Charles Barkley. And yes. also to be clear, this producers was- strongly advise that no one under seventeen be admitted <laughs> to see the exorcism of Charles Barkley. <laughs> just remind yourself, it's only it's a, movie. a movie. It's just a movie. It's just a movie. It's a weird one. It's uh, good. Though. It's and, spooky. And it's to spooky. be clear, this week at Rock Jump is ending. John Carmen's tenure at the helm of this week at Rocket Jump is ending. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep doing that. His illustrious reign is coming to its close. I mean, just after the whole Destiny thing, we just had to fire him. Like, John Carmen's just gone. Just what gone. happened in Destiny? What? <laughs> There's a whole Destiny podcast that we had John Carmen on here, and we just did nothing but essentially make fun of him. Character such a bad assassination. The yeah. And then it's funny because John's like, God, everybody's going to think I'm an idiot. We're, I mean, if we're like, no, don't you understand? We're the bullies. Everybody's going to side with no, you. No, John, you are an idiot. <laughs> and then that's what happened. Everybody on the podcast was like, man, man. <laughs> Pretty yeah, so to John. Yeah, yeah. We should probably also. Uh, Wait, uh, we didn't fire John. Just to clarify, no, we, John, John wants is, to go. On John to do is not fired. Uh, John is uh, uploading his second. John's to last moving episode. up to a farm upstate. He's going to have a lot of room to roam around. <laughs> the very last uh, this week at Rocket Jump, the epic finale, yeah, premieres next Wednesday. I it's don't know what exciting. the date is. The day before it's, Thanksgiving. It's it's ball pit level. I'll yeah, say that. Yeah. John insane. did uh, ball pit, which is one of my favorite videos yeah. we did this year, and this is like ball pit part two yeah. in terms yeah. of how insane it is. It's it, pretty insane. Yeah. No, it's just uh, we we got big plans for John. He wants to do some big stuff, and he doesn't need to keep doing uh, this. We got rock jumps. So well, we got big plans overall, I think. For uh, do we? what's going on, yeah, I think yeah. So. Well, look, so, so, I thought we, I thought we, you I thought we were done. After, Jesus I thought we were done after the lobby. I thought it was like we got the lobby. Yeah, we, we have the lobby. Do we? <laughs> no, we should probably throw out an apology if the sound is a little reverberant because we are filming in the lobby. But that's just because we're so damn busy. There are people filming in every There's corner every of the building. Every available rocket jump yeah. orifice is stuffed with production oh, right now. Really, orifice? You <laughs> well, that. you had to get gross with it, huh? Yeah. Well, film school is in the usual shooting space. They're doing a lot of stuff in preparation for the upcoming Hulu show. Yep. Which is again coming out December second on Hulu. On Hulu. And the trailer shorts. Oh, the trailer. Trailer drops soon. soon. Trailer drops. Maybe by the time you even if if hear you hear this, are if, we going to do one of the? I mean, but we, are we going to do one of those like same day things so you can clicky click right from the trailer to the no, show? No, like the trailer is going to be a blade. Now. It's going to be a what? Oh, it's okay. going up now. It's going up at like as soon as possible, and okay, then it'll cool. be about two weeks until the show comes out. Wow, yeah. you know, and if you have Hulu right now, you may have seen that uh, that teaser, a little teaser, that little rocket jump teaser. If you're sick around. of seeing the teaser, consider upgrading to the Hulu ad free <laughs> su- ad free subscription option. The teaser yeah. free subscription <laughs> option. Uh, Tell uh, them rocket jumps at you. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, it's going to be on Hulu, uh, and it's also going to have a uh, piece of it. Uh, you're going to be seeing some stuff on the YouTube channel as well. So for those of you who, well, first of all, we're going to have like a. I think we're going to have the ability to. Uh, uh, 
have a subscription, like a, uh, a little bit of trial. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, every, every, yeah. Every one of these places has a trial offer. So you can give. Yeah, we recognize the fact that some folks just don't have Hulu. Yep. So we're going to hook it up. We're, we're, we're taking care of you. There's yeah. going to be a string of good stuff coming out on the YouTube channel, which is going to roll into next year, which is going to roll into shorts. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. I mean, even on this, like when we talk about this week at Rocket Jump, that's because um, after the Hulu show and we flow into next year, kind of Rocket Jump's kind of coming back in a big way you know yeah. we got benji darnell and holland which you guys all know uh doing a whole and lot of stuff watching the twitch stream they've definitely they're kind of taking over behind the scenes and this week got rocket jump and Their twitch. twitch stream has been a total blast by yeah. the way uh so if you're a, a, a fan listener a viewer of the podcast you guys should also check out their, their twitch stream so which is at twitch.tv slash rocket a lot more regular consistent stuff coming out and kind of that kind of stuff but then as well we got the shorts team which is continuing. Wait, uh, what? What? Everyone's going. What does that? Team? What does that mean? Yeah, they, we, they did shorts team on a podcast last week, didn't they? Uh, did they or did that come out? You guys did the, we didn't mention it. Yeah, we didn't mention it. So we haven't really talked about shorts team, but we need to start introducing <laughs> what this is. And that is, everybody's like, "Hey, where are the rocket jump shorts?" And it's like, "Well, we're busy doing the show. We're busy working on our next project. You guys are busy working on the next project. We're still. Like, we're not legally allowed. We're to almost the name done. Anymore, we're we're it. finally." Almost finished uh, writing. Sci-fi show that coming unknown. out soon. Yes. Exactly the sci-fi show that you guys all know what we're talking about, but we it's can't coming out next year. Say. Not soon. Next year, but we'll yeah. be filming it soon. Well, uh, did, Benji, if I say the name of it, will you bleep it? Will you bleep it? Like, will it, will it be like I said? It's called, and then like a beep. It's called. Wow. What you say? Stop, no, stop, Benji's stop. getting pissed at you because he's got to <laughs> add all these bleeps in. No more okay, bleeps. Sorry. All right, sorry. we won't say. Oh, God. God damn it, Matt. Um, but uh, so we got <laughs> that one. <laughs> it's just three beeps. Just three beeps. All you have to do is beep three times. Um, You're such a dick. <laughs> so we have, uh, um, but the short team. <laughs> Sorry. So we're doing, um, again, we, we, we don't have the ability or the time to essentially. Well, no, hold on. Back up. Shorts. We tried. Three seasons of video game high school. We tried to we tried do a few yeah. times. Shorts. I guess we don't have the ability. We are not capable. We just got bad. We, at well, we, we, right. we did not have the, the well, abilities, no, it capabilities. It took, it took three years of failure for us yeah. to figure out that it's really difficult to do a show of any scale plus YouTube shorts at the yeah. same time. And I think you know it's funny because I was even just talking to talking to a whole bunch of uh, other for, sort of YouTube folks. Everyone kind of is figuring that out mm -hmm. at about yeah. the same time, you yeah. know, and, you know, talking to even like the San Nico, you know, so quarter digital and they're they're I don't know if I can say what they're doing, but they're off. No, you can't say what they're doing. Definitely can't, but they're off right now doing a, uh, I think actually if you follow their, if you follow their social media, you'll, you'll kind of have a sense of this, but they're, they're doing off a doing big a big project. project. They're off doing a big project. They're doing Star Wars episode nine. They're, That's they're, right. Yes. <laughs> they are in fact, <laughs> Trevorrow's <laughs> out, Sam and Nico are in. <laughs> I um, would pay to see that. Actually, I would actually yeah. watch the shit out of that. I would rather that. I would, I would yeah. Rather, yeah. Uh, but they're uh, they're off doing a big project, and you know, just talking to them about also just sort of juggling trying to do shorts at the same time, and it's hard. And well, we, they've kind we, of even done. Yeah. They brought on Ren to kind of help and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And what we're doing is that we have the the, the new generation or whatever of, of the, the next generation. What, what are the next uh, 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 Matt Des and Freddies and uh, and and Wills? Yeah, <laughs> Wills here. And what what does that look like? And the team. So we 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 got you know. What are five people who can make incredible shorts mm -hmm. that are their own, but still kind of in like the old uh, rocket jump style, but with their own sort of voice that's, you know, action, comedy, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, can we talk, can we say who the team is? Let's say who the team is. I don't see why not. Yeah, go for it. So we have them here right now, uh, boot camping. Well, they're actually, you they're know, they're actually uh, shooting some stuff. They're shooting. In the back, we're making, but, yeah. they're doing a little boot camp, and we're, 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 we're seeing, uh, we, we made them essentially, well, we told them they were going to do one short this week. Yep. And wow. they all are really busy because they don't really start till January. And when they came in, they pitched us 30 ideas. And then we said, no, you guys are doing two shorts. And they worked all weekend. And then we made them, now we made them essentially reshoot everything. <laughs> no, 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 to be clear, they presented us some stuff. We saw, saw a rough cut of two of the shorts yesterday. We didn't make them reshoot everything. We just said, it these are the parts of it that are It was, it was a suggestion. <laughs> it, was a, it was a very strong suggestion that they reshoot everything. But it's good because they're getting to see kind of like what the process is and how, you know, how hard it is going to be to make a short every two weeks and all, everything. But so obviously we got, uh, you know, some people that you've probably heard of coming to work at Rocket but we got Anthony Birch and Ashley Birch, the amazing, the amazing sibling team. And then we got Jimmy Wong, which you may have heard of, yep. which Ooh. is Jimmy Wong. Oh, yeah. Which I think is now just going to... Is he any relation to superstar Freddie Wong? Frederick Wong? Frederick Wong? <laughs> yeah, of YouTube fame. Yes, he is. He's actually his brother. Well, what's the small world that they both right? work at the same yeah. company? Wow, so I wonder crazy. how that happened. Younger, crazy. older brother. So weird. Jimmy's been so busy uh, 
cleaning up prize packs and starring in other TV shows. I don't know how you guys lured him away to come yeah. be part of the he, shorts team. Did you just give him a noogie or something? You just like put him in a hand. Like, do the shorts team, Jimmy. Wait, hold on. Introduce the rest of people. I want to do a quick Jimmy story. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and then we got uh, uh, Clint. Clinton the Jones. The man himself who has been here for a long time. A.K.A. The Punisher. Can't, Punisher. can't, can't go better than that. And then the yeah. fifth person is Ellery Porterfield. Key from uh, VGHS. Key. Actor extraordinaire, but also uh, very interested in directing and, and a writer herself. Uh, talented creator. So that five, those five people are, I mean, frankly, like, I mean, I'm not going to say they're five times better than you, but they're at least 20 <laughs> times better than you, Freddie. Like, uh, there's a lot of talent there, and they're, if we look forward to the next year of... Of yeah. shorts. So they're going to be helming shorts with, uh, you know, we're going to we're going to help them out. We're going to have a little supervision on it, but it's going to be their voice and their creativity coming out twice uh, every, two, every weeks. two weeks, starting uh, next year. So shorts are coming back as as we've learned as we grow older. Consistency is key. Yeah. 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 So we roll straight. There'll be eight. Uh, that was a eight of the joke. big, eight of the big Hulu shorts coming out starting December second and going into January, and then immediately from there, the shorts team shorts come out. So it'll be. Consistent content coming out on Rocket Jump, YouTube.com slash Rocket Jump and RocketJump.com and GeoCities.com slash Rocket Jump. Uh, so well, so no, no. let me hear the so it's the Jimmy story. <laughs> okay, so let's get the dirt. Okay. Dude, I, I feel like I live in like a flop house. Like I come home and it's just like Jimmy's just gone. I'm like, where's where's he this time? And I'm like, oh he hasn't been in here for like three days. And I'll be like, hey, I'll text him because like I'll, he'll still be texting me like yeah. questions and stuff. So I'm like, okay, he's in he's in town. But then I realized no, he's not because he's on T-Mobile, so he's just using the text plan on T-Mobile, which allows you to text anywhere in the world, mm-hmm. pretty much. And so I'm like, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm in Germany. It's like, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm doing this thing for like a, a League of Legends show. That I'm like hosting now. You guys live together. You're siblings. Every I, time he is your only brother. I feel like if my sister we went know. to Germany, I would find. You have that I would no know. idea. No, <laughs> I, literally, Jimmy knows everything about Freddie from me. Jimmy's like, "Hey, where's where's Freddie? What's he doing?" I'm like, "What he went?" You guys have an interesting. He's relationship. talking. He's talking <laughs> in Florida, and Jimmy's like, and then Jimmy always goes, "Freddie doesn't tell me anything," and then he walks off. <laughs> well, I don't. He always, he always asks me well, where be, you are. What was what the last time doing? you had Freddie and Jimmy on the podcast at the same time? That's oh, what I want to know. I don't think you guys. I don't. Yeah, we just you guys not done that yet at all. We no. just need to lock no. you two in a room. Wait, what? Force you to talk to each other. Yeah. No, well, we should put them here. Yeah. And then whoever and then, is on the other side just will not talk because it'll be them yeah. just bickering for just Cause there's minutes. Cause there's We need that been, to happen for yeah. sure. That's true. You're, wait, have we not done that? No. I guess That's, not. No. I mean, I because have, I that, mean, is, that is how crappy your relationship with your brother is, Freddie. <laughs> I mean, He's I literally say, outside, 40 feet away from you. I was going to say, I, was gonna, I thought you were going to tell a different story, but I guess this is more of a Freddie story. But I was just thinking, I think both of you, I think both of you, both of us have essentially. I feel like we're both like forty-five-year-old men now. We're just giving up on on life. But you more than anybody, like you're not Jimmy's older brother. You're Jimmy's like fifty-year-old grandpa who he's like forced to live with. Because we were playing Destiny, and and we were playing we were playing Destiny, and Freddie was just there at home alone. And then he's like, I think, oh Jimmy, I think Jimmy's yeah, coming yeah, yeah. back. And then all of a sudden, Freddie's like, Jimmy just came back with like three girls, and I'm in my underwear. And you know what? I don't give a shit. <laughs> and then he's just like, he's just like, he's just like, they walked in. It's like you're wearing your me undies, which are tight. So it's like Here's your junk about, is completely. It's like three bold arrows pointing I mean, it's right a, it's at a, the cross. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a David. It's a sculpture. Like yeah, there's it's nothing left to the imagination. It is just sitting there. And oh you're just boy. Like, and you're just like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not gonna put pants on. It's my apartment. I don't care. Jimmy brought people over. He didn't tell me about it. And I know the whole time Jimmy's just sitting there with three girls. And he was playing magic, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> three girls. Like a true <laughs> ball. How, how is there not a reality guess, show of your <laughs> life? <laughs> when Jimmy says this is where the magic happens, <laughs> he means this is where the magic <laughs> happens. He means it. This is embarrassing as, for both of as, you. As he as he rolls out his as he's rolled out his padded mats, and this you know, is how the you magic. No, he has to sit there as these three girls are just looking at you, like probably in a gross tin shirt, your legs exposed, well, no, here's your the best part. exposed, and he's just like, "I'm sorry, my older brother just he just doesn't give a shit anymore." Like well, he here's has the best problems. part. Well, here's the best part about that too is like because, no shame. Well, because I'm playing. Destiny, but I have the Sony headset on, yeah. which transmits all audio and chat audio to my to my ears, and yeah. we're raiding, which means a lot of communication is happening and <laughs> needs to happen. So in my in my head, it sounds like a freaking war zone, and I'm shouting out commands to my bros to you know take cover or revive <laughs> and to let everyone know my movements, firing, covering, reloading. To them, it's just a crazy guy in his underwear <laughs> screaming in an empty, but quiet I think room. I think that's when you're a real adult. That's like the flip. That's like the flip switch. <laughs> because, your, yeah. because five years sure. ago, five years ago, four people come into your apartment, and 100 percent be like, "Oh my god, this is so embarrassing! I got my pants on. Like, this is not what. Like, this is this is awkward." Instead, now you're at the point where you're just like, 
this is my place. I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> welcome also, to my house. This also, is how I live. This is who I am. But also, but also, but also, but but again, a key caveat here is. Jimmy could have let me know at any point. It doesn't change that your junk was just exposed to everybody. It doesn't change. You're right. He could have, but still, like. Uh, well, no, no. But I would have. But I'll put it this way: if I had gotten that text, I would have been like, "Okay, I'll go put on some pants." You know, I feel like we should be over. like. I don't want to. You know, like if, we, if this is going to turn into roommate court, I feel like Jimmy <laughs> should be here to defend himself. I want to hear the other side. I'm of calling the story. out. I'm calling exactly. I'm calling this out. It's like Freddy. Rashomon right now. I bet we hear a totally different version of this from Jimmy. I do want to. I do want to hear what Jimmy. We should do roommate was. court next podcast. Is going to be Jimmy. Oh, after the Logan court. Podcast. Oh my God. We're going to do. I think there's already a thing. We'll do uh, Freddie and Jimmy. John Hodgman does does like yeah. people's court. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. That All sounds right. like a great idea. Who who's going to be the presiding judge? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have you and somebody who should, should doesn't we... tolerate that sort of nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> sort you know? of tomfoolery. Darnell. Darnell. Yeah, it's Darnell and Kate. It should be Darnell, Darnell and Kate. And Kate. Yeah. It should be Ooh. you and Jimmy, and then Darnell, and, Darnell and Kate, and, Kate. Yeah. and it's just nothing but you guys airing out your grievances. Roommate right. court. I That's like gonna that. It's going to be yeah. the, after next podcast. Can we say because yeah. next podcast we're, we're having? Oh, that's guests. right. Next podcast, Logan's yeah, coming we got, back. Well, of course, Black Friday's coming up. Everyone's going to get out and do their holiday shopping. We got a lot of requests. So here, let me tell the story. Let me tell the story. Hold on, I'm getting there if you just let me fucking speak people were fans of the like best toys of the year uh-huh. podcast that we did last year yeah. logan developed a really rad toy uh, oh the you should just get blade, get blade on too actually that's a good you idea. guys should do a brother podcast with logan and blade the and olsen jimmy and freddie oh, the logan, olsen bros and the wong brothers logan would definitely instigate stuff between you and jimmy Oh, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> that would be a... Yeah, we want to get... Oh, the, yeah. That's a barn burner right we there. We want to get the Olsen bros to come out and, yeah. and demo their hot new uh, Disney well, toys. So, this so is the Rocket Jump Face Rocker podcast. Is this, this, this whole the, podcast is me just yeah. pitching ideas for this is the better ro- guests than me on your This is the podcast. Rocket Jump Face Rocker podcast podcast where we talk about the podcast of yeah. Face Rocker where we're going to... Tune next. into the podcast podcast. Subscribe to the podcast <laughs> podcast <laughs> podcast, <laughs> podcast well, on me, our channel. Let me tell you the story here. So I got a call from Logan, which is rare. Nor- Logan normally texts me or emails me. So I got a call from him. He's like, hey, Freddie, you guys still do a podcast? I was like, uh, yeah, it's still, it's still going. I was like, cool. I got a favor to ask of you. So I got this toy that I did. I want to show it off like, for Black Friday, like before Black Friday. That'd be cool. I was like, Logan, anytime you want to come back on. And he's like, great. I'm like, you realize that this is going to be the first time we're allowed to talk about yeah. what you do. We've yeah. always shrouded your, your, your job description in, secrecy. In, in mystery. And he's yeah. like, yeah. It's like, now finally people won't think I'm just a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's really pumped because apparently people still think like people still like Twitter message him assuming he's just it's unemployed like a, yeah. and is a surf bum somewhere because he'd always just be like yeah I work but I can't talk about it that's all he would say every <laughs> just, podcast oh he's a drug dealer yeah. Yeah. yeah Logan's not a drug dealer how great would it he be he designed by the, the way, toy every single person who goes where's Logan bring back Logan on the podcast was Logan like and it was just him oh, doing like a he's deep cover like, false flag troll operation that'd be incredible just and so he's just he been waiting for his time <laughs> just so he could keep saying man yeah, I'm busy <laughs> Anyway, so Logan worked on a very cool toy, which is available this holiday season that we're going to play around with and uh, and talk about. Yeah. So that'll be fun. I mean, we can say what it is. Play- I don't actually know what it is. Playmation. You don't know what Play-mation? it is? Disney what Playmation. Disney Playmation. Playmotion, I think. Playmotion. Playmation. Playmation. Disney Playmation. I had it right the first can time. We get a, can we get a ruling on this from somebody? <laughs> Playmation. Do the Iron Man glovey thing. And so the Iron Man repulsor arm is the first big yeah, thing. He, he and Blade follow- and his brother worked on it too. They're following up blade. that with blade the Iron Man cod piece. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're going to do the Iron Man cod piece after that. That's going to be cute. They're going to do the Freddy Wong Me Undies <laughs> underwear bulge play set yeah. so you two can gross out ladies in your apartment just like <laughs> internet superstar Freddy Wong. What, was it just a straight black pair of Me Undies? No, that was, it was like the bright purple pair. Cool. Yeah. What is, is this like a Dollar Shave Club for underpants? Yeah, well, we already. Well, yeah. well, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy you a oh, certificate for oh me. Oh God! Matt, it's inappropriate as your as the boss <laughs> to buy your employees gifts of underwear. No, it's it's like completely Will, wear this. Put these no, on when not. you come to work. If I like, bought him like weird, sexy underwear and then presented it in like a in like a box and said, "Hey, Will, you just talked about how much this, this stuff me. showed off Freddie's junk." That's this all I'm for, gonna say. This is for me. I'm not gonna see it. I'm not saying I, if I gave it to Will and said. Let me see how it looks on you. That would be inappropriate. <laughs> but giving Will opening up his email and saying, "Hey, twenty five dollars gift certificate from your friend Matt." Hold on, back up, for back up. That's, that's different, though. You're right. Twenty five dollars gift certificate to a store is different. But what you described—that's no, what I was going to do. <laughs> okay. All Thank right. you, Matt. That's very generous. Thank you. 
Is this like a you get another free pair every time you recommend someone else? Or no. Okay. No. Dude, there's an affiliate program. Wish. It's just the biggest. Wait, let's back up for a second. I just really want you. Wait, wait. I want your junk to feel as comfortable as mine does. God. <laughs> See now, now we're across the line. Wait, wait. Now I, I've made a, I've made a switch in my head. I've realized something, and that Matt is the freak. Matt is the. Matt is the salesman of this company. Let's think about this for a second. He's got how many Gaudi Honda cars did he refer? A lot. Six or seven. Six people have bought. He sold Gaudi six Honda. cars. Two, <laughs> Two cars from Dez. Dez All right, is let's on back his up. Way to the fifth free car from Gaudi with his punch card. Well, let's back up for a second. Nobody was playing Destiny except him and Eli. How many people play Destiny now? A lot. Eight, nine like eight people? people. Okay, so that's eight You're copies of me Destiny. Undies. Me undies. <laughs> Nobody heard about this. Matt comes in raving about his <laughs> Matt's dick. got everyone running around in his underwear now. Yeah. <laughs> What's next, you Just died. Matt selling his old underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so They're Matt, so I have to comfortable. ask. I have to ask, what's next in your scheme of getting I don't know, whatever, just whatever, I mean. Whatever I, he's secretly getting paid for on the side. <laughs> <laughs> whenever incredible. I find something I love, I just want to share the love with my friends. How incredible Aww. if some like secret, yeah. like some secret marketing firm has contacted Matt and is like, listen, we want you to get all of the They just leave a fat crew. stack of hundreds on his nightstand. Yeah. It's like that, was I telling you, did you hear about that lady, the controller in that small town in Ohio? Oh, no, what is this? This, this controller in this, I don't know where this came from, but I was just thinking of this was me. But this, this controller in a small town in Ohio, they found out she was stealing $153 million from a town whose entire operating budget is like $10 million over the course of like 25 years. Wow. Like, it's insane. Like, anyways, <laughs> that's it. The end. Ooh, end of story. Cool. Okay. Said cool. Matt alluding to his criminal activities. Yeah, pretty cool so yeah. You guys find out that just like, yep, every pair of MeUndies you guys are buying. Just lines his underwear his drawing lined underwear people should like that like bungee like you know if bungee wants to send me a check like no they don't i know they don't you know, most companies make money off of exactly this type of thing <laughs> exactly yeah. that we're just giving away for free <laughs> just keep throwing it all out there for nothing well matt well real Anyways. quick then why don't you uh why don't you uh what why don't you uh <laughs> oh I just no i realize you can't you can't say that i was like if you would start if you had started like in lieu of our like ad buys on this podcast, yeah. if you just started pitching stuff and be, if you used the promo code Matt L Arnold, and was like, wait, 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 what do you mean Matt L Arnold? <laughs> How's this gonna work here, Matt? It's like, no, no, don't worry about. It. Like, you know, Uber gives you the referral credits yeah. on stuff. I should I should know what our actual sponsors are because then I can start like. Well, you no, know. man, but your heart wouldn't be in it. Yeah, exactly. It come That's from a thing. pure Mostly place of joy, yeah. Audible and Squarespace. Cool. Not, not it's maybe. just the problem. Is the, the the deeper problem is none there of the you shit, shit that you're over into like, are very want, kind and generous sponsors. <laughs> it's like none of the none of the shit that we're actual acolytes of would want to do a rocket jump video. Like Lush does not need yeah. a rocket oh, jump. Oh, well, let's video talk about Lush. Because to be fair, Freddie got me into Lush. Or wait, you got me into Lush. I got. Oh no, you. We both separately discovered Lush yeah. and then found. Oh, that's out. right. We discovered yeah. our, our girlfriends now wives bad boys of discovered. Yeah. <laughs> yep. With the me, bathing you, bad that's, boys that's, of Burbank. That's what Max yeah. Geiger over at Weaver dubbed us all. Yeah. It was just four <laughs> schlubs and schlubs and tubs. <laughs> schlubs and tubs. <laughs> that's a podcast. Yeah. Oh, wait, really quick. Really quick. I got an idea for four bathtubs. No, no, I got it. I got No, no, I got it. I got it. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Okay. All right. And we okay. just talk about no, the no, lush. No, we no, all, no, no. I'm serious. I'm we're serious. All I'm yeah, a, we drop dropping bombs at the same time, and we I'm all just commentate I'm on how our bombs are feeling. No, no. But we don't do it. We don't do it together. We all Skype in with each other and I'm record the, the feed separately. So it's the all from and tubs. the and we all, and So we all, we all hold up the bomb, and we say, hey, so what bomb are you guys dropping in the stuff today? Oh and then we talk God. about, well, I'm dropping the dragon's yeah. egg. I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm doing a mix of, uh, yeah, Phoenix <laughs> Rising and a little uh, little uh, Ooh, Very nice, Will. <laughs> and then we say, ready? Note. Drop in three, two, one. And we drop. And and just, then, it gets quiet. You just hear the bubbling, and then we all go, all right. Wait, wait, wait. All back right. up. <laughs> start back up. Back up. Back up. Sorry. We have five minutes left here. But real quick, when do you... You don't drop it in when it's filling up. You drop it in. So after. look, it depends on. It dep- yes. <laughs> at first, at first, I was throwing the bomb. People in. wanted to hear about fallout. <laughs> <laughs> at first, <laughs> about fucking bath bomb. At first, I would be filling the tub and throw the bomb in there because I was like, I just want to get in once the bomb's done. But I was like, wait, I'm missing half the show. Yeah. Like I, now, I get in the tub and you then need I to drop set it up. It's a bubble bar. You put yeah. the bubble bar Absolutely. under the running water and then yeah, the bubbles. Yeah, because they need the bubbles because they got the, They need the running water to agitate it to get the bubbles. Have we activate. talked about this on the podcast before? We've talked about lush before. Well, you know what I do for that. Even knows what a bath bomb is. What I do for that specifically is I have a thing where they've got Google. Sure. A bath bomb is a thing you throw you into the stop bath. Stop listening to this podcast and go like, Google it. A bath it bomb is about. a wonderful, fizzy little thing that you drop in your tub and it fizzes out and makes it smell it's like a heaven. Big, it's you... a big ball of scents and soaps and, and salts. 
and, that and aroma fizz the shit out of your tub. Yep, and they, make it all sorts of wonderful <sighs> colors. If you like taking baths. This makes your bath 20 times better. Yeah. If you don't like taking baths, this will you will like good. taking yeah. baths. Yeah. And so the thing is with this, uh, with, the, with the bath bomb is, oh, right, they're $4 each. Yeah. They're expensive. They're expensive. Hey, it's a cup of coffee. Yeah. It's a cup of coffee. For your body. <laughs> for your junk. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> it's a cup of coffee for your body bath. You got to just pamper yourself sometimes. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, we yeah, I'm not saying uh, yeah, you don't do a bath bomb every day. That'd be expensive. Yeah, but that'd like, be Caligula. Freddie's like, like wait, but wait, no, sorry, I do what? That. <laughs> and end of a long week, drop in a little uh, a little lavender butter. Freddie, when's the last time you've taken an, an actual shower? <sighs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> 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 that that's there's your answer. You it's, have been taking baths though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's been like right, months. Right. No, but that's the like point. Is that you only bathe. Oh yeah. Is it like an everyday bath? Oh, absolutely. You make time for a bath. Every I mean, Freddie, get, you ever get that morning bath in? I've done. I do. Oh, I the have morning bath. bath is the height of decadence. You yeah. know what's really funny? Will pointed this out the other day, and now I can't stop looking at it. When I look at you, Freddie, I yeah. see little glitters in your oh, eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Freddie yeah. does have glitter. I, I thought. I thought I was like, oh. Well, so Jimmy know. got me something really nice, which was he went when he was in the UK on his European <laughs> tour. He stopped by a lush. <laughs> with, Jimmy got me really nice, and he just got angry. <laughs> well, he stopped by a. Well, he stopped by a lush in London, and he went to the proprietress and said, excuse me, what do you have that's only available in London, like only available in Europe? And he smuggled back like six like UK only bath bombs. One of which was a glittery, golden glittery one. Yeah. Which, Freddy was that was, was the I wanna be clear. <laughs> yeah, it was the snitch, they called it, yeah, it was the snitch. But to be clear, that bath was like weeks ago. That thing still has glitter residue I need to just clean out my tub harder. It's like, it's really difficult. It's really glittery. Yeah. I, I highly, and not only that, just to say, your, like, your bathtub ring must look like a Timothy Leary acid trip. <laughs> like regular <laughs> Lush trip. You guys also back me up on this. Lush, like, especially the people who work there, like the ladies of Lush make the experience of purchasing the bath bombs almost Lush. as pleasurable as the bath bombs themselves. <laughs> like, it is a delightful store to go into. It is. I do love that store. Hey, by the way, somebody, can somebody please cut, if somebody wants to be like, yo, what happened to Freddie Wong? Can somebody please cut a video of Freddie being like, like, screw you, viral marketers? and then cut to him talking about bath bombs. Because <laughs> this is what happened in like four years. It's very really to rock like star him. YouTuber to the old man wearing underwear who doesn't care when people come into his apartment and bathing in bath bombs all over. Well, we're I'm almost not ashamed. I know, no shame. Did we hey, want to talk about... Life. Uh, Five seconds on Fallout 4. It's great. <laughs> I haven't so played you, it yet. <laughs> so I, I, played, I played it a little bit. I played it a little bit. Um, it's difficult. I will say it's difficult to play a shooter post-Destiny because Destiny is so tight as far as like the shooting mechanics so i was i started on my pc i started with the xbox control i was like this feels laggy and weird so i switched to just keyboard and mouse which is better you gotta do that vats bro i know i know, I know. but i switched to keyboard and mouse uh i played through it we have a we have an inter office thing going on which is how far can you get without dying first i haven't died yet i did however zone out my character uh, uh cheese mcdingus <laughs> did zone out looking at a computer screen in the wasteland for 20 minutes, so I, I don't think I died, but I definitely like went into a coma as because it was this thing where it's like I pushed the computer screen and I was just like, and then the camera would just slow. I was like, what is happening? You I was just like, let it ride, you didn't and I was just pushing, nothing happened. I was just like, all right, I guess I gotta restart my computer. Oh, like it was damn. a full like, but so super buggy. Uh, it's all right, it's all right. I don't know. It, I'm, here's what here's what, here's the thing. And by the way, real quick, I, so I put this on Twitter, and man, you the apologists for Fallout came out in full force because i was like the apologists the apologists <laughs> if I was you like, will i was like i was like is the inventory management really this bad because the way it works is like armor it's like it's not clear like where a piece of armor goes you kind of have to read the description be like okay i guess that's on my legs and then i have to compare it to other things and it's just a list it's just like you can't sort it. It's just a list of stuff you have that you can wear. And it's not quite clear like where it goes where. So I'm just like, ah, I just like I, I, I get it. I can sit here for like, you know, 20 seconds and like kind of like think about it. But I'm like, this is, it seems so mundane. And there's just all this stuff where I was just like not feeling that at all. And I was like, guys, the inventory management is awful. And then everybody on Twitter was just like, oh, what are you everybody talking about? This game is great. Like this, no, not everybody. But like this game, what are you talking everyone about? Everyone trending top. Everybody stopped talking about Syria for a moment and said, wait a second, everybody. Did you Freddy hear what Freddy to insult the inventory <laughs> management system in Fallout. Okay. Fallout. Uh, Battlefront. Battlefront. What else? I've been playing that with my brother a little bit. I'm, I'm going out Black Friday. It's I'm going to get that bundle. Well, that PS4 bundle. Which game do I pick up? Am Ooh. I getting Destiny? Do I get... You should get on Destiny. Don't get Destiny. Don't do it. You should get on Destiny. Pitch me. Sell me a game. What am I buying? 
on Black Look, Friday. It's not whether or not we want to play Destiny. The real question is, do you want to hang out with your friends <laughs> for after work? And if the answer is yes, then pick up Destiny. If not, then don't pick up Destiny. Then don't pick up Destiny. Yeah. I couldn't play Destiny on my own. Yeah. I have to. Destiny actually is a game. It's pretty I'll, much I will hanging say, out with your, with your Yeah, friends. Destiny is a game that is markedly improved by the hanging out with your friends component. Mm-hmm. We don't, we're not even playing the same thing at the same time, oftentimes. We're just all in the party just chatting yeah. and doing different things on Destiny. Okay. Sounds nice. Yeah, the game I'm looking forward to is uh, that's a good one. That uh, Matt just (laughs) mentioned the show that he is not supposed to talk about. That is the fifth (laughs) podcast. I guess it is before you ruin Benji's life. Before Benji comes in and strangles Matt. What's your favorite bit about Fallout? Well, Uh, you know, the the stuff I love about it. I they're like the I don't know you know it's great uh, nice I, I really That's like a hard the, sell. Uh, the 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 Fallout. You guys aren't playing COD Blobs. I want- I, yo, Blobs is great. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to fucking. I'm gonna go Matt style to bat for the single player campaign and can you beat it? Campaign. Cod, the campaign in COD Blobs three is. Mwah. Really? <laughs> Loved it. Wait, oh, really? it's gonzo. It's insane. It's crazy like, cyberpunk I'm a, nonsense. It's I'm like a an, sucker for those yeah. shitty I want the series. I will say this. And here's, to be like, I want it to be like, game of the year. Right. And then quotes, the campaign of Blob <laughs> Blob 3 is mwah. I will say us. this. I had this revelation the other day that, and I would put Fallout in this category. I'd put Witcher in this category. Yeah. I'd put uh, Cod Blobs in this category. <laughs> Some of the best fucking genre writing Anywhere is happening in video games right now. Yeah. Like if a movie came out with the plot of Black Ops Three or a Fallout, like it would be insane. And these are not. <laughs> this is not like one-off experimental shit. These yeah. are like AAA. These are the avatars and transformers of their industry. These yeah. games and their stories are mind-blowing and original <laughs> and groundbreaking. Maybe they don't always stick to landing, but they are at least <laughs> inventive and creative and weird. Yeah. And I find something so exciting, so refreshing. So about you're that. saying so because my experience with uh, the first two COD Blops were kind of just like eh. Story this wise. one goes crazy. Yeah, I saw okay. some screenshots. It's like bananas. A, and I was okay. like, whoa. It was, there was like a control. Doors mask level tree floating okay. in space. Yeah. Is this, you know? if yeah. this is going Did bananas. It? Yeah, it's like, it goes like, it's like Off Neuromancer meets Inception All meets right. Aliens at the All end. Right. It's okay. great. You, you right. literally sold me on a game that I had nothing, I wanted nothing to do with. Yeah. Now I'm getting it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. I'll pick it up. when you hate it, you know who to <laughs> barge into his office and berate for it. Well, unfortunately, we don't have time to play any of these games. We got to go get back to work. So, All right. Who was your December 2nd, December 2nd, and... Uh, you guys are on the internets. Will, are you on the internets? Tell the folks listening at home where to find you on the internets. <laughs> Tell me your personal Will's email address. Will, Will, Will B. Campos number. on Twitter. I, yeah. Okay, Will's got a very private Twitter, so that's all right. I'm at what's, Des What's Dolly. your home phone number? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at Matt L. Arnold. At F. Wong. There you go. All right, everybody. Thanks again. Uh, Benji, uh, podcast producer. Darnell here. I'm operating the second camera. We'll Thanks, be see- guys. We'll be Thank seeing you, you real soon. Join us next week as Logan comes in and we talk about the toy he's been working on. Find out once and for all what he actually does for a living. Well, we Thanks, everybody. Him.